friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a super fun and different video. I have five nights of dinners for you, all from Trader Joe's. Last time I did this video, they were all from the freezer section, which was super fun. I'll actually link that video down below for you guys. But this time I scoured the entire store and I made five dinners strictly from what I could pick up at Trader Joe's. And let me just tell you how great all five dinners were. Highly recommend. They are all delicious and of course, WW friendly. So if you wanna get five dinner ideas from Trader Joe's, just stay tuned. <music> For tonight's Trader Joe's dinner, we are keeping it simple. We, I am going to fry up some of the Trader Joe's sweet Italian sausage. This is the chicken sausage. This is absolutely delicious. Three smart points per link. So this is a good alternative to the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausage. It is one smart point more, but it is really good. You can go ahead and pair this on a bun. You can cut it up into coins and saute it with some veggies. I'm just going to fillet open the sausage and just fry it up in a pan. And then we're gonna pair that with the Trader Joe's organic Mediterranean style salad kit. This salad kit has romaine, shredded broccoli, sloth, radicchio, celery, seasoned flatbread strips, feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted chickpeas, and red wine vinaigrette, and it is delicious. We've had this before, it's very, very good. So generally what I'll do is I'll just mix this up in a big bowl, and then we'll pair that with our sausage. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and cut up our sausage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the package. And again, you can cut these into coins. You can really do whatever you want. I'm going to keep it very simple and I'm just going to slice them down the middle but not all the way through. Oh well, or all the way through. You can do it either way. The goal is to not cut them completely all the way through. So more just like a filet open. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of the sausages. We'll get these cooking up in a pan and then we will assemble our salad. I have my fry pan warming up. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. And then I'm going to lay my sausages face down. So you can see that I have them all filleted here. And I'm just going to lay them open side down and we're gonna let these cook until they're brown. Now these are pre-cooked, so essentially you only have to get them warmed through, but I am gonna go ahead and let mine cook until they have browned and they are nice and crispy. So let's get started on the salad. So to put together our salad kit, it's very easy. So here is the actual salad kit itself. I did pull out all of the ingredients for the salad kit. So very simple, we're just gonna toss it in a bowl. I'm gonna give it a quick toss with my hands because the broccoli tends to go to the bottom of the bag just because it's heavier than the lettuce. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add our little packet of sun-dried tomatoes. And again, we're gonna give this another quick toss before we add in our dressing to get this, these all mixed in. And then we have our little flatbread strips and we have our feta and again just go ahead and give that a quick toss oh and i forgot to mention in the flatbread strips there's also the chickpeas so we're just going to give this a quick mix up because all that fun stuff again wants to go to the bottom because it's heavier and then we're going to go ahead and add in our dressing and then i just mix it all up with a couple of forks get it all coated with the dressing and then i just set this aside in the fridge until we're ready to eat our dinner. I just flipped our sausages over. They are looking good. They smell delicious. So we're just gonna let them get nice and browned on both sides. And then that's it, you guys. Very, very simple dinner. Once these get browned a little bit more, I'll plate everything up and I'll be back to show you our dinner, our first night of Trader Joe's dinners and then give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. So I decided to have one and a half servings of the salad. One serving is one cup, and that is three smart points. So I decided to do one and a half cups of the salad for five smart points. And then I have one of the sausages for three. So this is an eight smart point dinner. 
For tonight's Trader Joe's meal, we are going to be making a vegetable soba noodle stir fry. We're gonna pair that with some pot stickers and some amazing sauce. So let me show you what is in tonight's Trader Joe's meal. First, we're gonna be using the vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit. So this has broccoli florets, bok choy, savoy cabbage, snow peas, green onion, and then it has the noodles and the soy ginger sauce. So it's everything you need. It is delicious, I've had it before. I'm really excited to have this for dinner. And then we're just gonna pair that with some of these Gyo pork gyoza pot stickers. And we're gonna pair that with the Trader Joe's gyoza dipping sauce. So this is new, I've never tried this. It is pretty low in calories and points, and that is to dip your pot stickers in. So we're gonna cook these just in a pan and same with the stir fry kit. That way you don't have to have any special kitchen appliances to make tonight's dinner like an air fryer or anything like that so let's get right into tonight's trader joe's dinner so the first thing that we're going to do is put our noodles in a bowl of warm water pop this in the microwave for about a minute and that's going to help separate out these noodles and then we'll drain those and set those aside so i just warmed up our noodles so they're just gonna separate out a little bit more i went ahead and opened up all of my vegetables and in here i just have some nonstick cooking spray I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my veggies to my pan and we're gonna saute those down until they're softened. And then over here, I have an additional pan warming up where we're gonna put in our pot stickers once it's nice and warm. So I went ahead and drained the noodles and just set them aside. We've got our veggies here in our large pan. And again, we're just going to cook these down until they've softened. And then we actually add back in the noodles and the sauce at that point. And then I also have my gyoza cooking away over here. Our veggies have softened quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and add back in those noodles. And we're just gonna mix them in with the veggies until they get warmed through. And then the last step is to add in the sauce. And our gyoza or pot stickers are coming along nicely. Woo, you're getting steamy. There you go. Over here, I did end up putting a little bit of water in there to kind of steam them and then we'll fry them nice and crispy. All right, everything's nice and warmed through. So I'm adding in the sauce that came in the soba noodle kit. And then over here, these are coming along nicely, starting to crisp up. So I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart point. All right, so here's my Trader Joe's dinner for tonight. So I have one serving of the vegetable soba noodle stir fry. That is only two smart points as long as you don't add any additional oil, which I did not. And then I have two tablespoons of the gyoza dipping sauce, and that is one smart point. And then I have six of the pork gyoza. They are basically one smart point a piece. So I'm having six of them for six smart points. So my dinner for tonight is six for the gyoza, two for the soba vegetable stir fry, and one for the sauce is a total of nine smart points. For tonight's Trader Joe's dinner, we're gonna be doing BLTs, and we're gonna pair that with a super yummy veggie side. So let me show you what is in our BLTs. So the bread that we're gonna be using is my all-time favorite bread from Trader Joe's. I'm literally obsessed with this bread you guys it is so good this is the sprouted wheat sourdough bread it is a nice thick hearty slice of bread and it is two smart points a piece each slice of bread has seven grams of protein so it's an excellent choice for bread because it keeps you nice and full and it makes delicious blt so we're going to be making them on this bread i just have some green leaf lettuce some on the vine tomatoes, and we're gonna be using the Trader Joe's uncured dry rubbed sliced bacon. This is all natural pork raised without antibiotics, no artificial ingredients, and very minimally processed. Super good bacon, and look how thick those slices are. And then we are gonna pair that with one of my favorite veggies from Trader Joe's. These are the colorful carrot coins, and this is a blend of lightly seasoned orange, yellow, white, and purple carrots. These do have points, so it is actually two smart points per cup. So that's a lot of carrots, and it is two smart points, and I'm assuming that's 
because they are lightly seasoned and there's probably some oil in there. So we're gonna have BLTs with some colorful carrot coins. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook our bacon. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375. I literally have it on a sheet tray lined with some foil on a rack. Seriously, the best way to cook bacon, it is not as messy, it doesn't sp spray grease everywhere, it literally is a game changer. I cook it in the oven at 375 until it is crispy. And while our bacon is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our tomatoes, wash and get our lettuce ready to go. All right, bacon is out. Look at how big and thick these pieces are. I'm gonna put them here on a paper plate with a paper towel, get all the grease and everything off, and then we'll be ready to put together our BLTs. So we're gonna go ahead and start our toast here, our Trader Joe's bread for our BLTs. I'm gonna put mine together and I'll show you what I'm having and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. So here is my BLT. So I have two slices of the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread for four points two slices of the Trader Joe's bacon for two points, that makes six. I have just about a teaspoon of light mayo, lettuce and tomato for zero, and then I have one smart point under here of avocado. So that is a total of seven smart points for my sandwich. And then I have one serving of the carrot coins for two points, so this is a nine smart point dinner. First, we're gonna be using these Trader Joe's mini beef tacos. I've never had these, but I've heard these are amazing, so I can't wait. Going to be very simple. We're just gonna cook these in our oven. You could cook them in your air fryer if you wanted, but I'm gonna throw them on a sheet pan and throw them in the oven. We're gonna pair that with some of the Trader Joe's fat-free refried beans, and then we're gonna top it with a little bit of this Trader Joe's light Mexican blend. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So here are our mini tacos. You get quite a few in that box. And you guys, these are pretty good sized for little mini tacos. So I have my oven heating up to 425. We're gonna throw these in the oven until they're nice and crispy. And in the meantime, we're gonna warm up our refried beans. So our tacos are in the oven. They're doing pretty good, probably about another five minutes or so. And I went ahead and started my refried beans on the stove. I just have them on a low heat and I'm just going to warm them through. So I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. Here is my dinner for tonight. So I have one half of a cup of the Trader Joe's fat-free refried beans for three smart points. I have one smart point worth of their light Mexican cheese, so my beans are four points. And then four of the mini beef tacos is five smart points. So this is a nine smart point dinner. For tonight, Trader Joe's dinner, and night number five, we are going to be making turkey cranberry meatballs with mashed potatoes and gravy. So this is winter comfort food at its finest, courtesy of Trader Joe's. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. We're gonna be using the turkey cranberry meatballs. These are a seasonal item for winter from Trader Joe's. I have not had them, so I'll let you guys know how they are here on the screen. By the time I edit this, I would have tried them, but I have heard rave reviews, so I'm excited to give them a try. We're gonna pair that with the Trader Joe's mashed potatoes. I wanted to show you these. These are out of the freezer section, and they are little tiny pellets of mashed potatoes, and they're very, very easy. All you do is add a little bit of water in some of the potatoes, and it makes perfect mashed potatoes. And we're gonna pair that with some of the Trader Joe's turkey gravy. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing we are going to do is get our oven preheated to 350 to cook our meatballs. Now you can microwave these as well, but I want them nice and crispy from the oven. So these actually look really delicious. So I'm gonna throw these in the oven at 350 until they are cooked through. It says 16 to 20 minutes, just kind of depending on your oven. And now let's get together our mashed potatoes and our gravy. So this is what the potato pieces look like. I went ahead and counted out 15 pieces for myself. That is five smart points. All you do is add a little bit of water and microwave them and literally perfect mashed potatoes. I put a big bowl full for my husband, same thing, and add a little water microwave those, and then this is the turkey gravy. You can have a quarter cup for one smart point. So I'm just gonna pop all three of these in the microwave as it gets a little bit closer to the meatballs being done. All 
I just pulled the meatballs out of the oven. They smell and look delicious. You saw my potatoes, they turned out perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate up my dinner and I'll be back to show you what I'm having and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I have 15 of the mashed potato pieces. That is five smart points. I added a little bit of salt and pepper and spray butter for zero. I went ahead and measured out one quarter cup of the turkey gravy. That is one smart point. And then four of the turkey cranberry meatballs is five smart points. So this is my 11 smart point dinner. And look at this, comfort food. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Thank you for joining me on another five nights of dinners, this time from Trader Joe's. I hope you enjoyed seeing five dinners that you can get from your local Trader Joe's. They were all WW friendly and they were all, honestly, you guys, absolutely delicious. We loved them all. I will caution you on the soba vegetable, soba noodle, noodle stir fry. Let me speak. It was a little on the spicy side. In fact, my husband couldn't finish his. So if you are sensitive to spice, that may be one item to steer clear of. Otherwise, everything else was absolutely delicious. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a ton of recipe videos. I have weigh-ins. I have days in the life, grocery hauls, you name it, it happens. So I'd love it if you'd stick around, hit that little subscribe button and the bell. That way you're just notified whenever I upload so you don't miss a single video. Thumbs up this one if you love you some Trader Joe's. And of course, comment down below and let me know what you thought of this recipe recipes and if you guys would like to see more five nights of dinners from certain stores or certain sections of the store it's super fun for me and i'd love to do it if you're interested thank you guys again so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys